Welcome back to the XTS Custom Shop here in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm here with Eric. Say hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. And what do we got here? This is this is a long boy. It is. Before we get to that, though, okay, the quality oh. of this video might be a little bit better. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> I upgraded from a terribly old phone to a, a slightly less terribly old phone. Comment below. <laughs> if you can see the difference. If, if you can see all the detail. The camera is probably... 20% bigger? I don't know. At least the outside of it is. Who knows? This board is easily 50% bigger. Arguably, it's not really much bigger than the one it replaces, though. No, it's not. And I, actually, I was only half listening to you because I think this camera is better. Probably. Um, yeah, so this is for Derek Wells, and uh, it's time to upgrade. I think I looked it up. We did the last board in 16. It was a long time ago. And fortunately, or unfortunately, we haven't seen it in, in seven <laughs> years. Uh, yeah, I don't know that we've even maybe changed one or two pedals on it. Yeah, I think we, the same thing for... we, we did some modifications to his interface at one point. Um, but that's been it. Yeah, that was about it. So, so this is uh, Rev 2. Yeah. Uh, and we're going with this uh, G3 switcher from Gig Rig. Uh, pretty great unit. And very interested in how... We've done a lot of these lately. Yeah, Derek's going to wind up using that in the studio. As a lot of you guys know, um, sometimes studio work isn't where like presets and stuff are... are uh, really called for or even maybe even helpful but um kind of the plan uh that we were uh, looking at with Derek I think this is going to be super cool super super cool and Eric's he's taking advantage of this tuner aux thing so that's where the comp sits so you can put that in and then you got all the doodads here and the two outputs and well I'm not walking through you you walk us through Eric well, let's walk through it yeah it begins with a little interface under here. We might have to do B-roll for that. I don't know. All right, we can do it. Here, let's swap. Let's dance around it for a while. Ooh, let's get the shot of this side of the of the office over here. All right, hang on so we can see. All right, there's the interface. Okay, so guitar, what's that for? Uh, you, pl <laughs> you plug your instrument in. Okay. Really, anything that's got a quarter inch output on it, you can plug in there. That's true. Kazoo. The results may vary. Uh, <laughs> and the like. So, uh, guitar in. Guitar in. And then uh, so we've got the, the buffer defeat uh, if you don't need that. Uh, you got the dry out. So, uh, we talked uh, about um, there's going to potentially be like a Tweety amp out on the floor. And it won't have any effects in front of it. Basically, all it'll have is a volume pedal that Derek can operate. And uh, so that'll be a quick and easy way uh, to get that dry uh, out. And uh, you can see Eric's put uh, lift and polarity controls there. And then the last two things are out one and out two. two. Very cool. Uh, I just had like a, a slightly terrified moment because I was like, I know we spec this out to have two inserts <laughs> and I don't see it and I don't want to freak out on camera. <laughs> and then I pulled the, the thing around. I was like, oh, there it is. I Go. put it in a different place. Than we yeah, that's, that's, discussed, yeah, that, that, I think it will work well. That shocked me. Uh, so, but I'm recovered. So we're in the board now. So you come in and buffers and stuff. So it's, there's a tuner split. So that thing's always seeing your guitar right away mm -hmm. then after that the dry side comes into half of the stereo volume pedal mm -hmm. and this is so we thought a while about trying to make something tricky how do we control volume for the pedal board versus that kind of turnaround right for an amp sure in the room with him for feedback or whatnot and then uh we thought well let's just get a stereo volume pedal yeah so each Sometimes. half of this gets each half of it yep. um and there's a transformer, so ground issue will not be yep. a problem. Then it uh, comes into the board here, and there's all the different loops yep. that they are. The volume pedal is in loop eight, and the insert box, there's an insert before the volume and right after it within that same loop. Yep, so pedals of the day and stuff like that. You see Eric's piped these <laughs> DC outs. Yeah, and there's some power here. there, so anything... 
he wants to put in there is good. And then uh, it's everybody's mono. The output is dual mono. That way it can feed two amps, two amps in the room there. Um, and I think he talked about because these things are cool because everything will save everything, and it's super obvious to what is going. Mm -hmm. The um, some of the other switchers, it can be a little less obvious what's going on. You've got to look here, maybe. I mean, most of them you can see what's going on, but. This is the most obvious, I think. It's a pretty flat interface for sure. Yeah. So it's great. And you just reach down, you hit it, and it's saved. It, he's used the M9 a lot, and this thing, at least the way it is set, and the way almost all of them that I see are set, are, hey, I moved this knob. Now that's the new setting, and it's saved forever. You don't ever have to save anything. Yep. So that's kind of nice that... Well, I mean, let's go through the pedals for the folks. So we've got the, yeah. the compressors first. Well, I guess... First is meaningless in this. Well, I guess first is not meaningless, not meaningless in that yeah. but everything else is meaningless. Yeah, everybody else can move around. So, because this, this tuner aux thing is always going to be in the front. Uh, but after that, you can reorder these things. So, what we have in the physical loop one is RC booster, classic. Yeah, and most of these are the same pedals. Yeah, there's what, not a lot of changes. Two, three new things, maybe. The tubs, yeah, the tubs pedals new. Um, That's new. Uh... I don't remember if that was on the other I don't, one. I think, I think it might have gotten moved onto it, but then the yeah, XP, XP is new. Is new. So and RC, EQ pedal. yeah, RC, Winford, uh, Mostortion, a couple of EQs. This way they can be set and like recalled um, for specific things. Cause like, as you're working through the day and you want to go back to, Hey, what was that sound that we did have? You can go, you can go back uh, to that. Uh, then microsynth. What else? The Volume. Yeah, you, you told us about that. Mobius timeline. XP. Whatever. Thousand. Three thousand. Ten thousand. What number are you even? A billion. Comment below if you know what number it is. I feel like there's a lot of these. I feel the same about. Range Rovers that I do with these. Is it a Land Rover? Is it a Range Rover? What's the model number? There's so many that all look the same. It goes right over my head. Either way, they're pretty cool. Yep. Um, expression pedal, expressionator. You can pick one of these three things to express. Yep. Um, you could do it through here with MIDI if you wanted, but this is this pretty, works pretty darn easy. This is pretty easy and slick. He's used to this on the old board. And you can still set like combinations of them yeah, and stuff you if you want, so stuff. you can express multiple ones. Again, like studio stuff, guys, remember speed is the thing. There yeah. can be nothing that stands between you, or at least a minimal amount of stuff standing between you and doing a pass. So yeah. that's sort of the governing thing here. And then underneath there, we've got two True Tone CS12s. Two of those, and kind of went with those largely because of the AC right. powers. Because we've got two AC power the deals AC there. units. Um, and then these are real hungry, so it's got its own supply. There's a box there that fans out power to everybody. Yep. Um, takes a regular IC in. Yep. So cool board, cool. man. And you... these are hooked up to MIDI if if they want. Sure. If he wants. I don't think the plan is to use it a ton, but... The option is there if need be. Yep, you never know. You just never know. Yep. And it's a lot easier to wire that in when we're doing it than to. I mean, it's the easiest to just plug it right here and then run a cable up on top, but it's not how we They do don't it. let us do that. Yeah. Well, you guys, um, I'll be like looking at this. You're certainly going to hear uh, a lot of it. Eric's done a great job. Uh, getting all this done super super quiet because it's got to be and uh, and it's just a really really great board that we know for a fact is going to be on a crap ton of records yeah. uh, so keep your ears open and uh, you guys will be hearing this so if you need something like this or something completely different uh, just give us a buzz till then